So the, today we are beginning a Van Lee Volano install. Um, we put the model number right here. And then, well, I'm being paged. Okay, crisis averted. The boss just needed some information. So, on the roof, right now, as of this moment, we have 1,320 watts, four of the Wreck and Peak uh, panels, and eight batteries, which if you're doing the math, that ratio is off. Uh, well, single multi plus, single MPPT, 712, a servo, and uh, touch 50 for the inside so that they can see the graphical display. Um, they want to be able to monitor the system remotely because they have a pet uh, that will be in the RV all the time. And we're, I said, 1320 for right now as far as the watts goes on the roof solar and then um, but they're probably going to add more solar on the roof we don't know how much yet they're trying to source it locally because there's just not enough time to have it shipped um, they were originally going to just have six batteries but Battleborn had a sale so they went ahead and got an additional two which put them pretty far over uh, doing the math out without using anything it would take them um, and about a day and a half to get everything recharged back up without uh, using you know anything while it's trying to charge so definitely need to add more solar so that uh, the system becomes more usable but anyhow I'm gonna go up on the roof I'm gonna bring you with me we're gonna go check it out because the Van Lees have a fantastic amount of space. Let me get away from this thing, hold on. So this is a wide body. One thing that I do like what Van Lee does is they combine all of the roof vents for the tanks into a single port. That way so that you only have one penetration coming through the roof. He did go with the 3AC option so that does make it a little more challenging on roof space but it is a wide body so uh, because that is the case uh, we can only do four big panels but we can do I think I counted 16 100 watt panels so let's hope that they can find something that's the right size and then we'll see what they end, decide, uh, end up deciding to go with okay so we have bathroom wall I'm back up here bathroom wall my wiring runs right down inside this wall just like this the first go around ended up like that all the measuring I was off so I did have something come into the living space so I kind of looked at the uh, cabinetry and then I bought a block of wood two by two I made this piece, so it matches pretty well. I matched it based off of this piece. It's a kind of a quarter round concave. I don't even remember the name of the molding is, but nobody sells it. So I had to make it. So, and this is the piece that we're putting in. So that everything matches once I put a nail in it it'll actually look like it's supposed to be there good morning we skipped day two but I'll just take you up and show what we did so we we're supposed to have four solar panels uh, 330 watts each 
and instead we did 16. Plus a couple of easy starts. Got our combiner box all down and everything wired inside. And bring you over here. It's safer that way. I don't want you to fall down. So anyhow, got all that stuff done. And then we also were able to get a bunch of uh, tear out and rebuild in the basement completed. which is this. So we've got two by 12. All the existing is sitting on it. I gotta bring it over another to even to here. And then um, I gotta fasten all the bottom stuff. But MPPT, MPPT, uh, multi, vacuum will be up here. And then uh, two rows of batteries. They are going to be four wide, but there's room for five. They'll come out to about right here. Um, let's see what else. And then I think I'm going to try and put a plexi platform right here that comes out. And we'll be all the fuses and switches and shutoffs and things to make things uh, to control everything. So, that's the plan, and uh, it was, it's been around 100 the last couple of days, so we haven't really been filming much, because in the sun, the cameras overheat. So, just wanted to give you guys a quick update, and today we start painting and mounting, so that's going to be fun, but anyhow, we're going to get to it. Okay, so today is the final day. Got everything wrapped up in the Volano, Manly Volano. Um, our basement came out pretty nice. So, we uh, see he's inverting now. I think he's running 1 AC. Um, he's at a deficit of about 19. Um, this space here and the space over there are left for expansion, possible second multi. Um, yes, it looks a little crowded, but when you have uh, the rest of the stuff there, it'll it'll all even out. Got our shutoffs up there. Um, and then down here, we've got our battery bank of eight. We've got our fancy dancy, fancy dandy, whatever you want to call it. Um, Plexiglass wall. 
However, on the wet bay side, we do have some recessed plexi with uh, air holes in it. And then across the top, we shortened the wall the whole way across to allow the breathing of all the equipment. And uh, I'll go upstairs and kind of show you what we've got up there. But I did want to say, up, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, there's servo up there. It's It's got issues right now. Just getting everything connected in the account. So once we get that done, then we will be good. So, but uh, let's go upstairs and check out the roof. So up here with the AC now, and we have 14 100 watt panels and four 330 watt panels. Liner box where everything goes down. Let me come wrap the nose. I uh, still have room to work on all three ACs. So that's, uh, as they would say, that's a wrap. She's all good to go. Uh, he's already been practicing mooch docking. Um, here in his uh, site. Let me step away from this thing so you can hear me a little better. Yeah, he's already been practicing mooch docking. He has already uh, been watching the servo online. Um, it's having connectivity issues. We gotta talk to him about the internet and uh, really kind of go through it and see what he's got, make sure it's super stable. Uh, that's one thing about the servo you have to have a very stable internet connection so but um, other than that uh, thanks for watching um, this system ended up with two separate arrays 1400 watts and 1320 watts totaling 2720 a single multi plus 3, 12 volt 3000 watt 800 amps of batteries a servo uh, two 150 100 mppts and a 712 battery monitor. Uh, also, he has the uh, Touch 50 on the inside, and I'll get the uh, pics of that here in just a second. So, see you guys.